Facebook friends, yes, I'm in my kitchen. Yes, I'm still in my PJs. And if like anybody who works for me is watching this, they're like, oh my gosh, she woke up with a lot of energy today. <laughs> we better be ready. Well, not really. I didn't wake up with a ton of energy. However, at five o'clock this morning, when I was still in my bed, I was doing what I do that is a morning habit that has been a part of my life for a long time. And that is, obviously I turned off the alarm. And then what I do is I say, thank you God so much for today. Thank you for everything in front of me. Thank you that I'm not alone. Thank you that you're with me. Thank you that I have strength for today. Thank you that the coffee's gonna taste really good in just a few minutes. Thank you, God, for every single person that I'll encounter. Thank you, God, for every person who says something on social media that I need to wipe off what they say. Because you know it's the truth. Everybody's got something to say about everybody. Somebody's got something to say about what you should do. Somebody's got something to say about what you shouldn't do. And somebody's got something to say about how you do it. And it's like, oh my gosh, just go be you for crying out loud. <laughs> like, last time I checked, social media doesn't have a subheader. The place where you spy on other people's lives because you hate your own and then you criticize them. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> and so I'm sitting here and I'm trying to open my sweet drops with one hand and I'm having a hard time. This is a, okay, so I'm going to like set you guys down on the counter here real quickly. <laughs> This is actually a stevia that's uh, really, really good. It doesn't have, you know, there's some stevias that they add all kinds of yucky chemicals. This doesn't. And because I'm on an absolutely no sugar diet healing my gut, I am using like Don Francisco's coffee that has no yucky chemicals and no sugar. And it's got a great little taste in it. And then... Uh, English toffee sweet drop. So anyway, listen, morning habits are going to make or break you. And I guarantee you 90% of the people listening to my voice, unless they make a concerted effort to change the way they think every single day, you get up, you go through the same routine. I know what it's like. I was thinking today, okay, I'm walking into my kitchen and I'm going to walk over to my coffee pot. Uh, first, I better turn the light on and I better let the dogs out and then I got to get my supplements out and I have to feed the dogs and I have to feed the cat and I have to get the insulin for the dog because one of the dogs is a diabetic. And like we go through most of our morning, can I get an amen in the house? Give me a little love heart. Do you go through like the first half hour, hour of your morning and you think to yourself, oh my gosh, was I like even thinking? when I went through the last hour because <laughs> you go through it like without thinking we're like doing the same thing all the time and so what you've got to do is <laughs> ah, look at all the love I love you guys you're so awesome when you go through your morning you have to establish a morning habit and so for those of you who are thinking what the heck is she on I haven't even had my first sip of coffee yet See, some mornings I feel like this and I feel super, super great when my gut is nice and calm and everything. And then, and don't, please listen, I have a functional medicine doctor and I have a naturopathic doctor and I have a GI specialist who's a naturopath. So, and as soon as we're done healing my gut, I'm actually going to have all of them work together <laughs> and share a protocol with you. But here's the deal. You're going to have good days and you're going to have bad days. You're going to have days where it has nothing to do with the circumstances in your life and it might have to do with your hormones. You're going to have days where it has nothing to do with your hormones and it has nothing to do with the circumstances in your life and you might just not sleep very well that night. You might have eaten something or there might be something in the spirit realm that woke you up. Woke you up. You're going to have good days and you're going to have bad days. It is a fallacy that on the road to success, what you want to do is like try to create this life that is like super super perfect it's so funny some people have asked me okay with the gaps diet what does your refrigerator look like well i have a few things for like when my kiddos come visit but it's like pretty simple like chicken turkey vegetables eggs dog food saccharomyces and all my probiotics and all that other kind of stuff <laughs> <laughs> macadamia milk although i don't really even eat milk right now at all so Anyway, what you've got to do is you've got to start making morning habits so that if you got sleep or you didn't have sleep, 
the circumstances in your life right now are difficult or not difficult. Circumstances in my life right now have been horrific. A year ago, I filed for a divorce, and the freaking thing is not even done yet. Yes, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to offend you. I did just say freaking. Oh, my gosh. But anyway, Jesus is Lord. <laughs> yes, he is. And this too shall pass. And... The Lord protects the righteous, yes, and it, it'd be a scary thing to be attacking the anointed of God, as I'm going to say anyway, and that doesn't have to do with my divorce, <laughs> but you know, that difficult time, and then of course, you know, the stress like triggered my gut and whatever, and you can have circumstances in your life that are like difficult, and you have control over some of them, and you don't have control over others. Sorry, I'm walking you with me as I do my morning routine. I wake up in the morning and like I, I've got to open that I, I have to open that window because like the home I grew up in my mom kept the blinds shut all the time like depressing and so like when I started getting my own home I wake up in the morning like just as the sun starts to rise and I'm like open the windows bring the light in let the happiness flow through the house you have to have morning habits you have to have morning habits that whether you feel good or not you slept good or not you have circumstances in your life that are stressful or not um, your body feels it or not these morning habits need to stay intact now sure some days are going to be so difficult you might need to get a little bit more sleep but the issue is this what is the morning habit for your thoughts because you got to grab those thoughts and make them obey your goals. The very first thoughts that you have of your day are framing your entire day. So if you wake up in the morning and think like this, Oh my gosh, I can't go another day. This day is so hard. Oh my gosh, if anybody ever knew how difficult my day was. Like, oh my gosh, my day is so hard. If you get up like that every single day, <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been there. I used to do that, and I would like lay on the floor. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I can't do it no more. I can't do it no more. And I remember one day I was laying on the floor, and I, and I felt the Holy Spirit go to me. Really, is this helping your situation at all, my daughter? Is this helping at all? And I thought to myself, no, it's really not. I'm like sitting here moping. Nobody hears me and I'm crying out to God. But my crying out to God has turned into whining out to God. And my whining out to God <laughs> turned into such a destructive habit. That the Holy Spirit and I had to start changing the way we were thinking. And I'm telling you, well, he didn't have to change the way he was thinking. You can tell. I still haven't had my third sip of my coffee. Uh, some of you caught that and you're pushing the little laughing face. <laughs> but here's the thing. I began to change how I even focused with my prayer time. And it was more declaring into the atmosphere what I needed. Telling God, yes, what I'm struggling with. Telling him about the injustices and the unfairness or difficult situations or hardships or weakness or struggles. But then what you have to do is you have to start declaring into the atmosphere what you want to see. Declare that this injustice will not triumph. Declare that you are not going to be here forever. Declare that you are going forward. I'm telling you, if you walk through life like scenario A, <laughs> like I told you I used to be, or you get up in the morning and you go, I am strong. Now, even when I wasn't feeling good the other day and I woke up and I had 101 fever, I said, body, I bless you. I love you. I am strong and I'm getting stronger. I don't have a fever anymore. It was just a part of the detox after that sauna, I think. And, uh, the massage but you know you get up in the morning and you declare I am strong I am energetic love never fails God's love covers me I am walking in perfect peace the mind of Christ is my mind and you and you say the things you want to see don't 
underestimate that. And if the very second I said, say the things you want to see, something in your head said, well, that's easier said than done. Or if something in your head said, well, I've tried that, but my life has not changed. So, like, your life, like, you might have a more direct connection with God because my life did not change when I tried that. That is a spirit of skepticism, and the very second that thought comes, rather than making it your spirit, you need to say, oh, excuse me, spirit of skepticism, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, and I go back to hell where you came from, you lying thief. And then you go back to declaring what it is you were saying. Don't become a victim to your thoughts. Don't become a prisoner to those thoughts. Every thought you have is not your own. Do you ever think about that? Every thought you have is not your own. It's not your own. Well, listen, Teddy is yiping, and I need to go give Kobe his shot because he's a diabetic. And if I don't go tend to Teddy really quickly, I hate to be so graphic, but he will start dropping doo-doos like on the on the deck. And he's like, he's like, Mom, I have to go. He's he's that kind of dog. So, <laughs> and it's still. Well, I don't think the coyotes are out right now. They're not out right now. But I was out here this morning with my pan and my little metal handle thingy. Because this is Sandy's Coyote Zapper. They will be available on Amazon soon. You may think it's just a cookie tray and a spatula. But it is really a Coyote Zapper. You just wait and see. That is a joke. Please don't run to Amazon and look for Sandy's Coyote Zapper. <laughs> Listen. Take control of your thoughts. Take control of your day. Have morning habits that uplift you and uphold you. I'll be back a little later this morning. Talk to you soon.